Oh, <laughs> look who's awake again. <laughs> no. Well, hold on now. Don't scream. Don't scream. Surprise. It's me again. Yeah. So, you have to promise not to scream or this is going to go right back on. And we don't, we don't want that. I like it much better when we can have a mutual conversation of understanding. You see, I underestimated you. Now you remember I specifically said, don't escape. Well, I didn't actually expect you to go through with it. Put me on trial, minimum security prison. I had to phone in a couple of favors just to get you here, but <laughs> here we are. And, uh, welcome. You see, I don't think you understand that I am, in fact, the only friend that you'll need. Oh, don't cry. You were so close. Don't cry. Don't cry. You're safe. No worries. You see, we've changed the scenario. You said you wanted to quit social media, and yet here you are disobeying. The thing that you said would bring you the most peace. How peculiar. I think it's quite funny that you thought that I couldn't break out of a minimum security prison and get you somewhere else. I had to phone in quite a few favors to get you to this island, but you're welcome to try to escape this time. We can change those rules. The only issue is this. for miles, trying to survive out here is quite crazy. It might be very difficult, and frankly, I don't want to have to punch you up again. So, you must be thirsty. Look, this is my water. It's safe. I did have to give you something, but unfortunately that something didn't work as quite as I well I thought it would. Here, have a drink. See, it's safe. The nearest place you might need to get water from. It's a couple miles down south, a few clicks. Um, but yeah, one of my former captives actually gifted me this island for their freedom. But you, I'm not keeping for monetary value. You're simply a pleasure piece. So, without further Again, what's with you and hitting your head? I'm gonna make sure that everything looks alright because even though on the surface there's no cuts, no scrapes, there could be something underneath. Especially if there is something under the surface or in your hairline that maybe I've missed. Just bear with me here. It's only precautionary. But let me get a good, better. Look over here, right there, and down here, and over here. Good. So, it looks like I don't need to patch you up, but if I do, I got the cutest little tie-dye, because <laughs> we're in the jungle, baby. Little tie-dye band-aids. Just the funnest kind. It's the 
a little sex on the couch, you know? Anyways, I am going to remind you of the rules again, because I feel as though we should go over our new set of rules, especially after learning what I've learned about you. I did not expect you to run and be as creative in your escape as you were, but here we are. But I think that you didn't expect me to break out of a minimum security prison, which... Have you met me? I mean, we spent some time together a few weeks ago, and I thought you would think I was smarter. Yeah, that's okay. Anyways. So we'll start with rule one. Again, I'm not your servant. You can call me Miss Phoenix or Miss... If you need something, say for example, if you have to use the bathroom, don't tell me what do you expect me to do for you. I'm not going to go lead you to find the bathroom or get anything for you. I need you to tell me what's wrong. Got it. So tell me what's wrong. For example, I feel the urge to have to use the restroom. Very simple. I'll get you what you need, but don't say. I need water. Say, my mouth is dry. Okay. So, rule one. House rules. Granted. We're gonna play a little fun game. You're allowed to try to escape now since I thought you did such a creative thing the last time you did. I'd like to see you try on this island. Yes, it's an island. It's remote. There's one way on and way off, and that's my gifted private helicopter. A former friend of mine gifted to me for their freedom. You, I'm not friending or keeping because of your economic resources. I'm keeping you because of your deeper values. I think you're more fun because our personality so well together, you challenge me and stimulate me to be a smarter and better version of myself, and that's just simply why I had to have you and go that extra mile just to keep you safe from this cruel world that might change you for who you are. In the bad ways, of course, not in the challenging ways that you and I are. You know, when they say you keep your five hot coals close to you, if you keep cold coals begin to fizzle out and go cold and not be growing, but you, my dear, are a very hot cold. Anyways, I brought a couple of games because you and I both know the smart thing to do is to stay here with me at the resort, but I brought a couple of games and I'm even going to do the courtesy of untying your hand. So, bear with me. Hold still. Still, I'm not gonna knot it up. Okay, hold on. I put the rabbit through the hole and the bunny ears. There we are. Let's just get that off. I'm fairly See, if I was a boy, I'd be a boy scout. I'm very good with knots, but, <laughs> you know, there's no girl boy scouts. You see, I just had to learn and grow on my own. Now, my dear, I'm going to blindfold you again, and when I take it back off, I'm going to play one of my board games with you. Just to start off on the right foot, you're probably weak from all the traveling we did. Let me just get this on here. All I get what I need. <laughs> okay then. It's a good exercise. You didn't try anything. Oh, very clever. I 
left you untied and you are doing an excellent job of following the rules. Now before we begin, is there anything that you feel currently? Oh, your throat is dry. Good, we're learning. Here we are. Have a drink. You're very some games so we can have some fun here. And get started on the right foot. A couple of icebreakers, if you will. Giant Uno. I know regular Uno is fun, but Giant Uno is so much more fun. a blast. It's, it's a little dark, but you know, I think that it can really, you know, in the right company, <laughs> be quite amusing. I could give you an episode, send you to therapy, cure your depression, give you madness. It'd just be a fun one to learn a little bit more about each other with, but you know. We could start off simple. We could play sticks. You could play sticks. You could do fingers. You point. And then you'd have to put one more finger up. That'd be two. Then you pointed mine. You see? That's exactly why I untied your hands. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I looked into your history, and I know you have no idea how to fly a helicopter and probably wouldn't be dumb enough to drive, especially without any of the tools or an instruction. I am your only ticket off of this island. So, you can cozy in and we'll play a game together. How's that sound? Oh, good. Goody, 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 goody. And if you beat me, I might even reward you with a couple of little small tokens of freedom, like not blindfolding you when I leave here to go fetch what I need for the rest of the evening. Or giving you the use of your hands for the day. Other privileges, which of course they are privileges and not guaranteed. But of course I'm feeling generous, especially since I've spent such a long, long time thinking about you. Yes. We're gonna be spending so much time together. We have only forever to figure. Yeah, those friends that you had at the mall, you don't really need them. I am the only friend you need now. Mm hmm Those friends, all those other contacts, wash away with the waves. There's nothing around you now but beach and occasional sparkles. I didn't realize that glitter was on this island, but... Okay. And me. We'll just have each other. And in some ways, we'll better each other's lives. In other ways, you'll better my life. Because let's be real, your purpose here is to provide entertainment for me. Mm -hmm. Yes, this life is a dark and very dismal place. And frankly, I want to keep you, yes, you, pure and safe. And I want you, yes, you, to bring that purity, safety, and be my muse. You see, these games are a lot less fun with one person, one person, one player, whatever you call it. They're much more fun with a buddy. But like in these games, there are rules, which I'm happy to share with you. Mm -hmm. I'm very and I'm always adapting to change, to 
changing them. It makes them more fun and invigorating and stimulates the mind. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, what are your thoughts? You're not really in the mood to play a game, fair enough. I understand. It must be very... something a little bit more your speed for now and then I am a very caring friend don't worry I'm aware of your needs but I need you to communicate them to me properly so I can hear you mm -hmm. you see I don't really respond to lady or crazy or <laughs> you call me crazy crazy is going back into the world with social media and you know what insanity is crazy crazy insanity it's trying the same thing over and over and over and over again and then complaining about the situation at hand why are you complaining that you use social media you use social media it's so toxic and then when i take it away Talk about life. What are your hopes and dreams and aspirations? Well, now of course that you're gonna be here with me. I guess that would be be on good terms with someone who is responsible for your life. Yeah. That'd be wise. Be kind to one another. You see, we can be very symbiotic. I believe in mutually. I believe that you are everything, that I am not, you're likable, pleasurable, you're in good company, you make the room at ease, you always light up the room, you see me, they see me in the corner, and they wonder, how did she get here? See in the corner, I'm a creep, I'm a weirdo, what the heck is she doing here? And I also love radio ads, so let's uh, keep going here. We can play another game. We can play Tape Escape. Yeah. See, that one's a little bit more straightforward. You know how teenagers like to duct tape each other to the wall and then try and get out? And it's so funny when they remove the chair and they're just stuck there. Like, hmm. <laughs> we could play a little of that because I have a whole closet. An entire closet of this stuff. I could just... Just like that. And your arms are stuck. Hmm. Or make it more interesting. I'm pretty great with knots. We'll do a little loopy loop. And then another ride across here. Put your hands together like you're praying. Good. Okay. Now try and get out. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know. And then I can do something as simple as... And it's off. I know. We all have our hidden talents. Yours is people. And I want to learn that from you. I want to be the people are. I want to see you. I want to see you dancing. Do you want to watch The Little Mermaid? You know, I love Ariel. She's got some great hair. I like the color red. It's a far superior color. It's the best color, in fact. But we could watch a movie. I would love to watch a movie with you. Does that sound like fun? Yeah. Okay. Well, your hands are untied your legs are not. Would you like me to get that for you? You can choose one. So if your legs are untied, I'm gonna do your hands, okay? 
just for good measure. I don't want you trying anything or, you know, trying something stupid that would hurt the both of us. Because if I'm out of the game, you're out of the game. And frankly, dear, that's just not going to be good. You deserve so much in this world. And I want to give it to you. So, let's give me those hands. services on this island. Yeah. Well, except for the ones with internet. But everything that I need I can download and fly on back over here. I'm not taking any chances with you. You're too clever. Or more clever than I thought you'd be. Because I am smarter than you. Let's be clear. But try anything and you have nothing but miles. Also mine, and you need to remember that, okay? Well, think about it. Think long and hard about it. Do you really want to escape from somebody who loves you and cares for you and devotes entire islands just for you? Hmm? I didn't think so. Yeah, how many of those friends would go that extra mile? Not many. A lot of them have their own issues. Or it's not that they're. It's not that they're selfish, it's that human nature drives around focusing on only satisfying the, the utmost needs of your individual self. Self-service is the ultimate need. But you see, we have something special. I see you looking at the needs of the other. And that is exactly why. and go anywhere, okay? So we're gonna go on downstairs in this little beach house. I have a little projector and we're gonna watch a movie. We can watch The Little Mermaid or 10 Things I Hate About You or The Breakfast Club, whatever you're feeling. Yeah, I know I saw your top three watch list, so I downloaded those immediately because you never really have a chance to go watch them. All the panic attacks and PTSD from being in fact a part of the inevitable. You see, we are in fact good for each other, and once you understand that, that's gonna go away. It's gonna disappear. You'll be fine, dear. You will be fine. We're gonna be great together. And you know, who knows? Maybe I'll take you up in the helicopter and someday show you the full island. It's a pretty big place. He's, he's very, very dry and also in the corner, just like me, except he, he does a little bit more fun with Bowie knives, and I'm not about that life. I, I don't torture, I just enjoy the company, you see. I don't physically torture, okay. But I know you're into it. <laughs> oh, I've seen your history, I know you're into it, I've been watching you, and it's okay. Why else would you be watching stuff like kidnapping? your watch list. Hmm? <laughs> I know. I think it's cute, actually. But let's go watch that movie, and then we'll see. 
see where our little next island adventure goes, shall we? Maybe we'll play a board game another time, but I really want to play this with you. It's a lot of fun. It's funny, like, listen, it's got like a little, <laughs> little nutrition facts laid on the back. Attractive ingredients. The directions. Warnings. Use with caution if you have any of the following. Competitiveness. Well, <laughs> that's why I'm using it with caution. That's the duct tape. Vengeance. A vindictive spirit. And a dark sense of humor. I think that's both of us. But it's okay. We'll play again. 